But I think I'm, I think in this episode I want to get refined storage and set up some create things. Maybe some create power automation. Because I want to get like some basic material automation done. And I honestly might expand this room like significantly more. I might do that with like the create drills and just go back this way quite a ways. And uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and start doing that and I'll come back. Alright guys, so I just went on an adventure to the nether and cleared out this thing. So we'll have like two rooms, I don't know. This can be one room for one thing, this can be another room for another thing. But as of right now, we got this going on. So we're going to make some enriched quartz. Or enriched quartz enriched iron. Sorry, I really struggled with that one there. And I wonder, one, two, three, four, four of these? We're going to need one, two, three, four, four of those. I'm not exactly 100% sure how we're going to power this yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So let's go ahead and smelt down, let's say, like a stack of quartz. I don't know if we'll need that much, but we'll probably need something close to that. And we're going to need a couple of those processor bindings. So we're going to need, so we're going to need at least four processor bindings. So we can come down here, hop on over to our little grid down here. Let's say I want two stacks of slime balls. And we'll also need that string, but honestly, we'll probably leave that string in there. Considering we have string that's over here. And we'll grab this real quick. This, this, this. Boom, string. So, yeah. I think that's how you craft processor bindings. Let's see here. Oh, it's not even that expensive. So, there we go. We have a bunch of these now. And then we're going to need, what, four of those? Let's just make a couple of these. And we'll have those ready. And I'll get these. After this finish up, I'll smelt these. And then we're going to want to get at least a disc. So let's see what disc we want from refined. I think I want to go with a 64K storage disc. Because all these are like super expensive. So if we go with a 64K, I think is going to be our best option. So let me see here. 1K, 2K, 64K. That's fluid. Let's do 64K. Look for a storage disk here from refined storage. That's fluid. Fluid. There we go. This one. And we're going to want the storage part. So that is going to require just a bunch of those. And those are all pretty simple crafting recipes, if I do believe. But yeah, improved is just more of those processor. Yeah. And then... The basic is just that. So, yeah. It should not be all that bad. And then we'll be able to have ourselves a nice little refined storage set up. And I'm going to have to figure out a way to power it. So that way we won't be, like, dying for power. Alright, I'll go and do that and come back here in a minute. Alright, guys. So, why this glass is smelting, I kind of want to go over to Landon's base. Uh, let's see here. If we have permissions, we might still not have permissions here. And I would like to go get an enchanting thing set up. Because Landon has a bunch of enchantments set up and ready to go. But I'm not entirely sure where his, his thing is. So I'm going to go ask him and figure that out real quick. And we'll be able to get a good amount of enchantments done especially with I want to get it on this sword because I kind of like the sword but yeah so we're gonna enchant the living crap <laughs> sword and this pickaxe and that is the plan all right guys so we are at Lanin's little enchanting area and okay 
I do not know what happened to my levels. I literally just had 60 levels. Okay, I guess we are going to go get levels and then come back. Oh, there they are. That was interesting. Okay. So our levels just decided to vanish for about half a second. Yeah, Lane has an entire occultism set up in here, and I've never really played with occultism, so I don't even know. So we got that. Dude, there is so much here. Oh my god. So basically, our sword is goaded now. And now we have to do the same thing for our pickaxe, so I'm going to need some more levels. So I'm going to go back to my base and grab some more levels, and then I'll come back when that pickaxe is enchanted. Because that was pretty neat. Guys, I have finished the refined storage setup. But right now we got... A 64k and a 16k storage in there, and it's about 10% full. We've got a pattern grid and a crafting grid. So we also have our ME controller, which is currently using 10 FE per tick, which is like the max output of this coal generator. So we're using all the power we can right now. So yeah, we're we're doing pretty good. I went ahead and cleared out all these chests and everything that was over here. I set up the water wheel setup. All five of them are there. It's about 2,000 FE per tick. So let me get my this thing back. Yeah, there we go. We also got this version 2 tailed beast cloak, which is pretty nice. Just gives us some more buffs. But so if we come over here and look at our click our clipboard. I want to get a steam engine set up with a 3x3x5. Three by three by and our three by five by three technically but i want to get 10 engines and our first source of power i think is going to be the alternator from create crafts and additions with this steam engine we can get like a pretty significant amount of power from the alternator before we can get into like power or any of the other things it's probably going to be our best option at least at the beginning and that way we can also get into like pneumatic craft and all that from create this is a mod in here that I think we added called at creative. Yeah, so we can go ahead and get a rotational compressor from create and this air blower basically is like a fan, but it works better. It does. It basically does it better. It's faster. It processes things easier, better than the create fan. So the refined storage setup is done. We do need to prepare for some automation, but before we do that, I want to get actual power set up. And we can also do that with, whatchamacallit, I also want to get into Flux Networks, which shouldn't be all that hard. And I'm not sure exactly how much of this we're going to get done in this episode, because I haven't really looked at it, or how long this episode is, but yeah, that's... I, I think that is the plan for right now so I just went ahead and made it more detailed and all that so we are ready to go basically all right guys so we have everything that we need in order to make an infinite lava supply from create and get the blaze burners that we need for the steam engine all of this is really not that difficult I actually think I want to do this in the fortress not at my normal portal, so let me do that real quick. Alright guys, we are about to be at the fortress, if this thing would stop lagging for half a second. I don't know what's going on, but I am getting really laggy here recently. Okay, but what is happening? Uh, let me come back when this is done being sped. Alright guys, so my thing finally stopped being annoying. So, now all you have to do for this thing is find a source that is more than 10,000 blocks or 5,000, something like that. And you will have yourself an infinite source. You just gotta lower this all the way down. It will consume a lot of hunger, so be prepared for that. But this is gonna give us an infinite amount of lava. Literally, all we have to do is drop this down and then pipe it out. Like, it is so, so simple for this to work flawlessly. How close are we? I think, realistically, that should be good. But I don't know if you have to lower it all the way down or not. 
So let's just, oh, we're not quite there. Dang it, I reversed the direction. I don't, what just lit me on fire? Oh, no, 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 no. Where, what is lighting me on fire? Like, just randomly, basically, is what it feels like. Okay, so we are at the bottom of our lava source. So we're going to take this pipe. We're going to connect it right here. Let's see. No, 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 no. Dude, this nine tails mode is saving us so hard right now. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll restart the, the video when I come get back up there. All right, guys, so I am back, and we are going to finish getting this all prepared. Basically, right there is going to be your fluid pipe, and then you got to just get one of these. Boom, ender tank, and there we go. We now have, if we set this to extract, now it should be good. Okay. Yes, it is working. I'm going to throw one of these in there. Okay, sweet. So now we have a practically infinite source of lava ready to go. I mean, look at that. That's pretty sick. That is pretty sick. Okay. So our lava, our infinite lava is all set up. Now we need to go grab ourselves blaze burners. So these blaze burners were not expensive, but in order to get the blaze burner to become like active you you have to do that but don't place it down because boom and we have two of them let's go okay sweet and then i'm going to do that for the rest of these and then you have active blaze burners and then i will come back pretty sure mine door um works yeah all right guys well we are back at the base i have the the blaze burner set up and the infinite lava. Let's see here. Let's put that there. And we are going to place the tank right there. And I'm going to get back here real quick so that way we can. Maybe it doesn't work like that. Okay, maybe I got to place it a different direction. Let's see here. I think, I think I'm going to place it like that. So that way you can pull out lava. But yeah, so these these guys right now are ready for coal, but or require some other source, heat source, but we're gonna use lava. And in order to do that, we have to make straws for these guys. So we need bamboo, and we're gonna need nine straws. And if you're wondering where these extra ones came from, we got quest rewards. One, I wonder where that went, hold on. Where did that go? Oh my God, why is it so laggy? Landon, are you laggy at all? I am laggy. You think the server needs to restart? But anyways, how am I supposed to use this rolling mill? Let me figure out how to use this rolling mill. And then, well, maybe we can just like, that's how, I think. I think we can just throw it on, throw it on there. And we got to get straws somehow from that. So one, sweet. So you just throw them on there and yeah, right click. Okay, now we have nine. That was interesting. <laughs> That really confused me for a second. Okay, so we take these straws, throw them on there just like that, and they all get hats and they all start to burn, which is all very, very good. And then we'll take our fluid tanks. Bam, 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 bam. And then we go all the way up. So one, oh my God, guys, I'm so sorry about the lag. Two. And then we are going to get ourselves down here. Boom. One, two. Let's see. Bam. And then bam. So we have ourselves a heated and ready to go almost steam engine. So what we're going to need now is probably a sink with just the pipes from the pipes mod. So let me see how much sink is. Sinks are normal, aren't they, Landon? Yes. Okay, so we're going to make a sink. This thing is pretty nifty. Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of terracotta, just clay. One, two, three, four, five. So let me make this sink real quick and get that set up so we'll have water pumping into this. And then we're going to need to figure out how to make the actual steam engines. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're at Landon's base right now. So 
we need to get let's see if I can get this we can, we should be able to get this which would be awesome as Landon should have the stuff to make this so let me see if I can make this real what is going on bro? let me see it here two way there we go okay so let's see if he has this stuff so we need that and we're gonna need one how many of them do you need one two three four five six seven eight nine I don't know. So, <laughs> we we might need it. It might be a second before we're able to make this, honestly. <laughs> but we're going to we're gonna make a magmatic generator. So that way we can have more power because my refined sword system is currently down. And that is not good. So we need to go ahead and make a, a new power source. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. Alright guys, so we got the the tank, or the sink set up we have water flowing in as you can see it's filling up the our little tank there all of our lava stuff is ready to go and we got our power source set up landon gifted us the or i guess i could say i took a blazing magmatic generator gives it an 800 fe per tick so we're getting good on the on our storage system here but yeah so i think next up is the steam engines on our to do list there and these are actually really simple to make I need 10 of them and they don't seem all that hard so let's see here let us smelt down some more copper because I imagine we're gonna need a lot more of that and we're gonna need some gold because I don't think we have any gold so Lanin can we borrow some gold Not that much, just a little bit. Ten, ten gold. You have enough. I would, I grabbed it. Let's see, I was gonna see how much ore I can make out of this. I already grabbed the what I need. All right, so those are gonna plate plate press real quick, and then we're gonna be able to craft all ten of these with as long as we have andesite casing, which we should have, and. Yeah, we, we have plenty of andesite casing and copper. We need 10 blocks, so hopefully we'll have, we should have enough. That's seven blocks. Yeah, and we'll, we'll have enough copper. All right, I'll come back when those are all pressed up and ready to go. All right, guys, so we are about to craft up the steam engine. Should we be able to get 10? All right, so we have completed that we got way more than we needed okay and then uh, yeah and then we got this googly eyes from because i made the goggles but yeah so we are we are ready to go we got boom 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 so those are all ready to go let me see if i can grab my shafts i guess we'll need more oh, i didn't even see those i had a couple over here Okay, so now we'll be able to, boom, boom, we're going to need to rotate that, boom, 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 and we have got our steam engine set up, guys, so we are, as you can see, everything is working well, so let's see, I guess that doesn't work there. Let's see if it works. It doesn't go anywhere there. So let's just see this real quick. So our water is doing just under what we need it to, but it should be okay. I think really our heat is our biggest lacking factor here. But yeah, so we are generating way more stress than we were with this. So yeah, that is all set up and we are ready to go with create power. So we will never need any more stress than that, I don't think. So we're ready to go. All right. I think the next step is going to be getting. What do we have set up? Boom. Boom, boom. Since we already have a power set up, I think that might go ahead and be the end of today's episode. So I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see y'all again next time.